All right, now I am on the bottom of page 239 in the Go Math textbook. So if you don't have it out, please get it out now. Follow along. Notice, once again, I have my two trusty charts. They're going to make my life easier. <coughs> and let's go ahead and get started. Four pounds is how many ounces? Well, I know one pound is 16 ounces. And actually, I should not to break my own rule there. I want ounces, so I want ounces on top. 16 pounds is, or 16 ounces, excuse me, is one pound. So I want four of those, times it by four. Uh, 16 times four, let's go ahead and do that. Four times six is 24. You can use scratch paper. You don't have to write this part in the book. You can work problems out on scratch paper. Just don't. Just keep your scratch paper and don't erase your scratch work. Uh, six times uh, four is twenty-four. Four times one is four. Plus two is six. So my answer is sixty-four ounces. All right. I'm going to erase my work. You never erase your work. Just get more scratch paper if you need it. All right. Next we have grams to uh, centigrams. Awesome. I get to use my chart. I have grams. I'm going back to centigrams, so I'm moving to the right, one, two. So I take this number, 7.13, and I move my decimal two to the right. So it would be at the end of the number, so I can hide it back there and just write 713. Done, nice and easy, love these charts. Three tons to pounds, so I want pounds on top. And right down here it tells us uh, 2,000 pounds is one ton, and since I'm going from tons and I want pounds, pounds goes on top. 2,000 pounds is one ton, and I need to multiply that by three. So three times 2,000, 6,000. There's my answer. Done. Nice and easy with these charts. Oops. 6,000. All right, number eight. The African Goliath frog can weigh up to seven pounds. How many ounces can the Goliath frog weigh? All right, let's set it up. I want ounces, so ounces go on top. So one pound is 16 ounces, and I multiply that by seven. So 16 times seven. Seven times uh, six is 42. Seven times one is seven, plus four is 11. So 112 ounces. Done. Keep cruising. Let's keep going. Number nine, the mass of a standard hockey puck must be at least 156 grams. What is the minimum mass of eight hockey pucks in kilograms? Okay, so we got a two-stepper here. Uh, it must be at least 156 but I got eight of them, so I'm gonna multiply that by eight and get that total. Eight times six is 48. Eight times five is 40, plus four is 44. Eight times one is eight, plus four is 12. So I have 1,248 and it was grams. So I'm going from grams to kilograms. So I'm going to the left, one, two, three. So I move my decimal over, one, two, three. So 1.248 kg. So what is the minimum mass of eight hockey pucks? 1.248. Sorry about that, I was filming this uh, in my classroom at school, after school, you got a little note. So 1.248 kilograms, this was a two-step problem. All right, <clears throat> next we're comparing different amounts. So 250 pounds to 0 0.25 tons. So again, this is kind of your choice. Do you want to change them both to pounds or do you want to change them both to tons? Okay, uh, let's see. I want to What do I want to do? I want to change it to let's change it to tons. 
So um, I have 250, whoops, 250 pounds out of uh, 2,000 would be one ton. So I'm going to simplify that. Uh, 250 can go into 250 one time. 250 goes into 2,000. Um, well, it goes into 1,000 four times, so it would go into 2,000 eight times. And then, I, so that's one eighth of a ton. But I want to change that now to a decimal because I got tons in decimals over here. So I divide the denominator into the numerator. I can add my decimal, add my zero and 8 goes into 10 one time so I can stop right there I actually don't need to finish this out because I know this is going to be 0 0.1 something and I already have a 2 in the tens place here so I know that's going to be bigger okay that's just one way of doing it uh, again there's many ways to solve these problems so if your parents do it another way don't say but Mr. Music said we have to do it this way that's not true. There, we talk all the time. There's many, many ways to solve these problems. I'm just showing you one, okay? In these videos anyways, in class we go over others as well. All right, so I'm going from hectograms to, uh, looks like, DAG, D-A-G, let me see real quick. What am I going to here? Oh, da. Mr. Music is confused. Let me see. Okay. Let's assume we're going to deca. I believe that's where we are going. So from hecta, yeah, to deca. Yeah, that's right. That's right. DA is deca. I'm sorry about that. I was confused for a minute. So I'm starting with hectograms, and I'm going to decagrams, so I'm moving to the right, and I'm moving just one. So I take my first number, 65.3, move the, my decimal over to the right one, and that would be 653, and this is 653, so these are equal. All right, five tons, 5,000 pounds. Well, I know one ton is 2,000 pounds. So if I multiply uh, five times 2,000, I'm gonna get 10,000 pounds. And 10,000 pounds is definitely bigger than 5,000 pounds. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.